Hello everyone, myself Ankit Shivare. I will be coordinating course on analog VSI. So we are on the lecture seven behavior of MOSFET. Now, in this module, we are going to discuss the behavior of MOSFETs in different region of operations. We have discussed in lecture six in saturation, linear, and cutoff how the transistor behaves. Now, some more insight and some intuitive understanding we will be developing here. Okay, so suppose you see ID versus VDS curve, what you will see that means after a certain voltage, the transistor will behave like a current source, but it will have its own CLM effect. Okay, which slope is nothing but 1 by R0 that is GDS, lambda ID, that is channel length modulation effect. If suppose you see this lambda CLM that we say that is proportional to 1 by L square. So if technology is at higher length then channel and modulation effect will be smaller. So in a impromptu way you can say that if suppose you are having 22 nanometer the channel and modulation effect will be higher compared to a technology where it length is 180 nanometer. Okay. In deep triode mode what we see that VDS we can say it is much much less than overdrive voltage. Okay, overdrive voltage is nothing but VGS minus VTH. So VGS minus VTH term is also referred to as VDS set. Okay, that condition VDS set is nothing but the condition where the transistor has started moving into the saturation region, like constant current source behavior. Okay, so in that case RCH when you figure out it is one by K rho and W by L VGS minus VTH and you see that there is no VDS term. Okay, and no ID term. So what you can see that if suppose you model it. So what you will see that a source drain and a RCH you can see. So if suppose you put some current ID, so a drop is there ID into RCH and it will be and the same uh, and the current can be seen like that. So it's a linear behavior with respect to VDS. Okay. So if suppose you plot ID versus VDS in deep triode, what you will see that it's it's a resistance behavior okay but mind that vds is very very small compared to vgs minus vth there will be some unreality that will exist but this behavior you can get okay and there are ways to get over it okay so we will see how we will do it in future lectures but this we are, this is the condition that we try to use of the mosfet okay coming to the saturation region so how it is how we can easily see means whether the transistor is in saturation or not, NMOS is in saturation or not, people get confused here. Okay. So easy way is like in case of NMOS, the gate has a tendency to go higher potential compared to drain. Okay. So gate can get higher than drain potential by threshold voltage amount. Okay. So that is the tendency of a gate for NMOS. Similarly, for PMOS, the, again, the gate has a tendency to go lower potential compared to drain by threshold amount. Okay. So in this way, you can remember that, yeah, my transistor is in saturation or not. Okay. So I hope uh, you are getting comfortable with the MOSFETs. You are able to figure out in which region of operation the transistor is working or not. Try to solve problems. And if you get any questions, you can post here. Thank you. Hope to see you in the next lecture.